If you're looking for a magic tool to wake up your brain and boost concentration before work or study, these simple exercises are meant for you. You can do each of these tips for about 25 seconds or extend the time if you wish. Thumb and hand reflexology can work directly with your brain. So let's begin with some finger warm-ups. Pull your hands in front of you or put them on a table. Stick out the thumb of the left hand and the little finger of the right hand. And now, vice versa. Hold the previous fingers back and stick out the little finger of the left hand and the right thumb of the right hand. Continue switching the fingers and gradually raise the speed. This exercise improves synchronization between your right and left brain and boosts concentration. Well, how many times can you go back and forth without messing it up? No worries, the more you practice, the easier it gets. Now, gently stick out all your fingers and put your palms together. Cross the corresponding fingers of your right and left hands towards each other as if they were hugging. Move from your thumbs to the little fingers and then back. When your brain gets used to this exercise, gradually increase the speed. When you get confident enough, you can bring this task to the next level. Try to cross two pairs of nearby fingers at the same time. And here's the hardest step for supermen. Cross two pairs through your fingers, little fingers with middle, ring fingers with index fingers, etc. You can also play rock, paper, scissors with yourself. First, let your dominant hand beat your other hand, and then let your loser hand beat your dominant hand. Not only it's a win-win game, it also helps to rejuvenate your neurons. And there's an easy way to stimulate your pituitary gland. This little gland secretes various hormones responsible for many important body functions. Its weak work may cause fatigue, lack of energy, and appetite problems. The gland is located above your sphenoidal sinuses. As you can see, your paranasal sinuses, which include the frontal and ethmoidal, and the maxillary sinuses are interconnected. To boost the work in this area daily, you can use this simple tip which includes two steps. Step 1 will take just around 20 seconds. All you need to do is stimulate the central point of your thumb by pinching it. Use your index finger and thumb of the opposite hand to pinch the thumb equally hard from both sides. Put your index finger on your fingertip and your thumb in the center of your nail this way. Go ahead and pinch back and forth and then release for about 20 seconds. At this point, some of you may begin to feel changes in the nasal region. Step 2. Now you gotta take these two same fingers and squeeze the side parts of the nail bed. Squeeze the nail just like this and hold for about 30 seconds to a minute. You might start feeling positive changes behind the nasal area as you hold it. This area will begin to open up and improve breathing. Many people may experience different effects from this exercise. Some feel a boost of clarity and focus. Others breathe better and get more inspired and energized. Some may begin to yawn and feel fresher. But if you didn't feel anything the first time, don't give up. Try this technique again the next day and repeat it several times. By the way, it doesn't matter whether you're right-handed or left-handed. You can do this exercise on both hands. There are many types of scissors exercises for your fingers because they help to synchronize your left and right brain. Let's try some of them. Pull out your right hand. Make a fist, then quickly make thumbs up. Then cross your middle and index fingers and finally make a peace sign. Repeat these movements one by one as fast as possible for a while. And then switch your hands and do the same amount of time. When the brain learns to do this well separately, try with both hands. Here's another way. Raise your arms in front of you. Your hands should be on the level of your shoulders. Make peace signs with your left and right hands. Now start crossing the fingers simultaneously, as if your fingers were scissors. Do this exercise as fast as you can from 30 seconds up to several minutes. The longer you do this exercise, the more your brain gets activated. At some point, you may feel that your fingers are numb, but this effect is temporary. If you don't give up, you'll get a second wind and a refreshing sensation in your head. For the next exercise, we're going to use not only the fingers, but also the arms. So make sure you have enough space. Raise your arms in front of you to 90 degrees. 
go ahead and bend one of your hands at an angle of 90 degrees. Clench the second hand into a fist. And now unbend one hand and clench the opposite into a fist. Take your time and increase the speed gradually. Pay attention to your shoulders and elbows. They should stay fixed and the hands shouldn't perform any random actions. It's pretty hard to do this tricky exercise properly right away, but you can train your arms to repeat correct movements separately. First, the right hand. Clench and unclench the fist like this. Then repeat the same technique on your left hand. Now that both your hands are doing the exercise confidently, slowly connect both hands. This will help to boost your concentration. As well as the next exercise, stretch your arms out with your palms facing each other. Rotate one arm clockwise while rotating the other arm counterclockwise. Repeat for about a minute and then switch your arms. If you can't accomplish this task right away, try rotating your arms one by one. Next one, draw circles in the air with your left hand. And now, begin to draw triangles with your right hand. Try to do as many as you can without messing it up. Do it for about a minute and then switch hands. Tap your right fist on the right side of your chest while sweeping the left hand on the left side. Easier said than done, right? In a minute, switch your hands and try to repeat. Most likely, you'll notice that one of the sides is much easier to do than the other. Knead your ears with your fingers from the lobe and up. Then, move in the opposite direction. Your ears and brain are interconnected. That's why when you massage the auricles, especially the lobe, you improve cerebral circulation. A point in the center of your lobe is responsible for vision, so if you rub it or press it hard, you may help boost some improvements in this area. And now, let's get down to your feet. Reflexology says that the tips of your toes have a direct connection with your head and the brain. Therefore, it's pretty useful to take a few minutes to stretch your toes and feet every day. Sit down on the floor or make yourself comfortable in a chair. Use both hands to massage the instep and arch of the foot for about 30 seconds. Now, gently slide up and down each toe with your fingers. Pay special attention to the nails and squeeze them one by one. Use your fist to massage the soles of your feet. This should help to release pressure in this area more deeply. Make a fist with your opposite hand and gently press it on the sole of your foot like you're kneading dough. Then slide it up and down the sole. You can also place a tennis ball or a hard apple on the floor and roll it with the soles of each foot one by one. 